What is going on gamers, Avatrix here again, and today we're going to be going over the Expert Dungeon 7 Last Portal and my new method of farming it, which most of the time I don't even have to use a spell. Now I'm not shy about using a spell because gold is just gold and a dead hero would basically have me either spending some gems or waiting 20 minutes, which I don't want to do. So I'd rather use the spell, but regardless, most of the time I'm doing this without needing any sort of spell, and it basically takes pretty high level heroes and skill level heroes at that, but the ones that I'm going to be using here is my Spirit Mage, uh, also Pumpkin Duke, Druid, my Cupid, Minnow of course, and also my Multanica. Now, the reason that I have Spirit Mage in there is because Spirit Mage will, uh, will be able to kill buildings off with, with uh, the Magic Missile. And Multanica is here mainly to slow down the boss. And the key thing about this is the slowdown crest that I have on, uh, I believe, three of them. I have it on Druid. I also have it on Cupid. And also on Maltanica. So they are on three ranged heroes. And the reason they work is because I'm going to be dropping my hero really far back. And the boss is going to have to walk to it. The boss is already walks kind of slow. So when you start stacking slowdowns, it, he basically sometimes just stays in place. And it lets Minnow and Spirit Mage do all of the work for you. So... Here we go, let's go ahead here and show how it looks. There are some key things that I like to point out to people that might want to try to do this. The first thing is, we're going to be starting right over here. There's a little opening spot right there. So your spirit mage or whoever heroes uh, you're going to lead with, you want to put it around there, um, but before the wall. And another key thing is you want to wait for the boss to walk to that side specifically, right there. That way he has a longer walk. So, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get this started. He's pretty much pretty far back, so... Oh, now he's moving this way. Um, Alright, let's go ahead and, and have him walk the other way. And he's coming this way. Nice. It's like he listens to me. Whenever you want, boss. Oh, or just get closer. Get closer. Oh, whatever, let's go. He's pretty far back. There we go. Now, take a look at the speed at which he's moving. Okay. He is barely, barely, barely moving. There he goes. He is not even moving. Look, he could not reach Spirit Mage. Now, at this point, it's just clean up, and there you go. Mino procs, everything's dead. So, let's go ahead and do this uh, again. This time, I'm just going to go ahead and, and drop it whenever I see is the best time for me to drop it. Now, if you're in a hurry and just want to clear out your dungeons, I don't recommend this. But if you got nothing else going on and you just want to do your dungeon and maximize your shards, I definitely recommend this. You probably don't even have to wait for the boss to walk the other way. But I just like to do it just because. Alright, he's coming this way. Um, we'll just wait for him to move to the left just a little bit. And he moves to the right. Alright, cool. Either to the left or up. No. That's fine right there. One thing I do have to fix is having my Multanica proc uh, a little earlier because I know that my Cupid dropping right before Multanica doesn't help. But I mean, there it is again. He is not moving, so he never reached uh, Spirit Mage. So there it is, 57 shards. If you do this continuously, it would actually um, increase your shards a good amount because if you think about it you get a few drops and that's already a few hundred shards so two drops equals a hundred shards you do if you do dungeons all day that'll net you well over a thousand for the day without counting here be monsters or anything else might whatever else so 
is a great way to increase your shards if you are already farming dungeon 40 and can actually pull this off so i definitely recommend it try your own little variations you know you know uh, put slow down some different heroes different setups but it, you know try to make it work for you i'm just giving you the template uh, how it works for me but yeah thank you for watching guys and until later bye